Hey boys and welcome back to another Bleach Brace Soul video and today we are going to be showcasing the brand new swimsuit Apache. Finally we are now done with the swimsuit banner once we are done with this showcase. And uh, yeah, saving the best for last honestly. Now originally I did think Nemi was the best in the banner, however, playing around with this character I can say with, with certainty that this Apache is best in the banner and by far one of the best characters in the game. And a must have in my opinion if you do struggle on the Espada Guild Quest week. Now for me, I can already beat it. I can beat it with some difficulty, like I do have to rely on weakening for the most part. But even knowing that I can beat it when it does come back, I want to make my life easier and I really do want to pull for this Apache. So this video today might convince you to pull for a Winter Individual does drop in a couple of days time. Uh, it leaves on the 19th actually. Funny enough, a couple hours before the Bankai live stream does start. So that's a bit unfortunate. But this video might persuade you to pull for her. It might persuade me to pull for her because again, I'm tempted to pull for her. When an Individual does drop, I might have to do a couple multis to try and test mark and go for her. But we'll see how it goes, right? We'll see how it goes. So that being said, Massive shout out to Yato for lending me their account today to showcase his Apache. And lucky for us, Yato has worked on his Apache. Honestly, she's quite stacked. So she has a T-set accessory, level 10 SP slot, and also max lane slotted. So we're in for a treat today, right, to showcase this character. So let's now actually talk about what makes this character good. And one thing I do like about this character is the fact that she does have an Aspada killer. And it really just goes to show you how times have changed when normally this would be deemed as a bad thing, which now is a good thing. And actually, it makes her more unique compared to other characters. And in my opinion, increases the value of this character. So we all know the Espada Guild Quest is a pain to go against and she is built to make your life easier. If you do have a GG, you're not really going to struggle on this guild quest. And it's mainly because of her kit. So the Espada Killer is obviously the main appeal for that guild quest. But even then, her kit is made just to make your life easier in that guild quest. Her special can heal her teammates. So there you go. If you have two teammates, you don't even need to equip DR on them. If they're about to die, use your soul bomb and boom, they're healed back to full HP. And then also she weakens defense in her soul bomb just to make it even better. So when you do use your special, boom, you're now doing more damage against the enemy you now just knew. So it's by far one of the best, no, the best guild quest character in the game. Uh, obviously, you can't use an other guild quest, but if you could, she would have probably performed equally as good there too. So outside of guild quest, how does she perform? Well, even then, she's going to perform quite well, even without the fact that she doesn't have a quote-unquote usable killer for PvE content. And that's mainly because of her skills. If you look at her skill set, she is quite stacked. She has Bruiser plus 40%, Berserker plus 40%, which increases her strong attack damage by 40%, which is very, very good. And that's mainly because she doesn't need status elements. If you do have status omens, you unfortunately only get 20%. But to make up for the fact that she doesn't have status omens, she does get that 40%, which means even without killer, she's going to be hitting insanely hard. Let's just look at the recent Heart Nemu and Confield Kisuke. Those characters don't have quote unquote good killers, but even then, like, they hit very, very hard and clear faster than other characters that even do have killers. So you're going to see something similar with this Apache. Uh, it's similar to her kit. She's going to click faster than other characters even when they do have killer. Uh, that being said, she does have Devastation plus 60%. Weaken Resistance minus 100%. Havoc plus 20% just makes it even better. Havoc plus 20% just to make it even better. Frenzy, Weaken Defense, and sprinter plus one so overall she's a very very good character skill wise she stacks killer just makes it even better in my opinion and also her strong attacks are just insane too and you're gonna see that when we do showcase the character so for the build today we're using this build right here we have a tension time with first and sp a t set with first and sp that's overall giving us 80 percent sp that's quite insane and then we have the fortification pill giving us 60 percent sp and also 30 percent focus just to increase the chance of us hitting criticals which is always a nice bonus and then for the links, we have the Senju Mark giving us 12% recharge and then two 14 recharge links. And that's the build we're going to be doing today. We're going to take her into IZ, the point event, and epic raids and see how much damage she can do there. I know for a fact she's going to perform significantly well or better than other characters in the epic raids because she does have a Sparta killer, means she's just going to be doing more damage. And then for IZ and stuff, because she doesn't have a quote unquote PvE killer, it just means that it really doesn't matter what enemies we go against. We're going to hit hard. And yeah, that being said, let's, uh, let's showcase her in IZ. Alright, so here we are in IZ. Now, unfortunately, I think the gameplay might be a bit laggy. Unfortunately, this iPhone 7 is on its way out. I was just autoing Grand Cross for like the last 17 hours. So maybe that's why it's a bit laggy. But that being said, we're going to breeze through this right and quickly showcase her. So, her Nat String is a new Nat String in the game. I don't think any other character has it. That being said, though, it's not entirely anything special. It's just, it just looks okay. I think it's... Um, I think it's more of a hybrid, so the two Nat Strings that we get for ranged characters nowadays is the Kirio Norman Attack String, you know, the one that everyone's getting, and then we have the Thousand Year Blood War Orihime Nat String that Retsu just got recently. I think this one that Apache has is more of like a hybrid between both of them, so it's fine, it's, not, it's really not bad, it doesn't really matter anyway, she is an SP character. Her first strong attack, however, is quite different compared to other characters. Now, best way to describe it is similar to Koga's SA1 into a beam forward, however, the range on it 
is less. There's less length, but the width of it is quite... I mean, it's bigger, right? <laughs> so, let's quickly show it. If SA1, you can see right there, it didn't kill all of them, but like the range is quite good. Her SA2 is a 960 raised AoE in front of her. It's quite insane. It's a very good strong attack to have. And then her first strong attack is a full screen strong attack like that. Boom, nice and easy. We're going to hit very, very hard because, oh, unfortunately, they have killer against us. But, oh, look, like SA2, man, honestly. SA2 and 3 is just insane. Even the SA1 is actually quite good. And you can see there, like, we didn't kill the enemies behind them. But, like, we did hit quite a few, like, we did hit quite hard. And, like, you can see here, when we do, even without killer, we're one-shotting. Like, look at that. That's insane. <laughs> but, bro, I really want this character done. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm taking damage like an idiot, but... Damn! I really want to pull for this character. She's the first individual mana to drop, so I'm not entirely sure. But, you can see, like, this character, it really doesn't matter that she doesn't have killer. So, let's see if we can hit both of them. We did. So, I, I, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. In exchange of the range, she got more width. I like that. I think that's a good. Ch I, I think that's a good change. I think I might prefer this one compared to the one that has more length. I'm not entirely sure. So what we're gonna do now is use SA2, and that almost killed up that whole wave. Let's do that, and we didn't hit the enemies on the side, but I think we positioned it better. We could have done that. And you know, I'm kind of interested how much damage you're gonna be able to do against the Grimjall because we will try and bring into the Evergrade. And see if she can do more damage than Nemu. I'm sure she can. Especially because we do have more better links. She might be able to even beat it. I'm, I'm quite curious on how this can happen. Now let's talk about a special. Which is quite good, by the way. It's grilling time. Okay. Yeah, I really like what Kayla did with these specials. Like, she's... Like, the, the bite animation of her eating the food... Looks quite nice. I mean, it doesn't sound impressive, but it is impressive for this game. I don't think it's been done before. But yeah, this is actually so nice, man. <laughs> I'm really, I really want to pull for it. All right. So that was the IZ showcase. That was a two minute and 52 second run. So what we're going to do now is try and beat it again and see if we can beat in under a minute. Right? right, I'm pretty confident we can. We'll see how it goes. All right, let's see how it goes. So SA2, SA1. Okay, we didn't have anything that behind us, but it's fine. SA3 cleared up there. Just go wait for these guys to spawn. There we go. Do that. That's it too. Because we hit the enemies behind them. That's good. I right, wasted my strong attack there. Yikes. No worries though. Nice and easy. We don't need that. We can heal with our special. Alright, so I'm going to nuke the next room. So do SA1. SA3. Wait for this guy to spawn in. There we go. SA2. And then SA1. Yeah, the range on that SA1 is actually nice. I really like the width of that. That's sick. All right, SA1 again. And then Nad. There we go. And now I think we can clear off a couple enemies here. And then we can nuke. I'm not sure the best nuking spot. Maybe I should bring a Zeta pill. It might be better. But it's fine. There we go. Let's nuke. That fully heals us. And we are done. I'm not going to take that pot because I just want to get straight through it. Nice and easy, right? Nice and easy. That's how you speed run, boys. Probably not. I think you can do it a lot faster, actually. But it's all right. Uh, I wish there was the final enemy was on a spider, because we would have been able to check how much damage you could do against him or her. But it's okay. It's okay. So there we go. Nice and easy clean, right? Without any struggles. We obviously, with some a bit of FPS issues, because I don't think we have 60 FPS, we did quite well. A minute and two second clear times. So not under a minute, but it's fine. It's fine. If we had the Zeta pill, which I know Yato does have, I just can't be able to equip it, we'd probably be able to be in under a minute with these. So nice and impressive clear time. Now what we're going to do is test out into the point event, where she does have increased damage numbers, and we're just going to play around for a bit and see how much damage we can do on her special, because I believe the final enemy should be an Esparta character. Alright, so before we do hop into the point event, let's quickly showcase the build. The accessories are the exact same way. We did change the links, so instead of recharge links now, we're rocking full standard damage links. And lucky for us, Yato does have a max transcended Toshiro, so we have even more stats. And then these two aren't max transcended, but it's fine. So now, let's go into the point event. Let's see how much damage we do against the final boss. Alright, so here we go. We are in the current point event where we do have increased damage numbers. So let's see how much damage we're going to do. I think, yeah, we're going to be hitting around 20k with the full stamina damage pool. That's quite, that's quite impressive. So we're just going to breeze through this, you know. Let's just hope we don't take any damage so we can go to the final boss and do as much damage as possible. Now, for the team we have, as always, I bring a, I bring Adam Yuro because he's a good character. A decently good chance to weaken the enemy if we do use his second strong attack. And then we have Chad to just give us a boost. Now, luckily... Um, Apache also weakens, 
Oh, weakens defense, so we don't need to bring another character. Normally, I bring a Halloween safe on because she does both boost and weaken defense. I believe she's the only character to do that. So, we don't have to rely on that, and it's fine. Now, it's, I believe this is the last room. It's, it's been quite easy. But, like, this point event's supposed to be easy anyway. But, like, we're hitting, like, what? 20k on our strong attacks. That's quite that's quite nice. All right, so SA1. There we go. SA2. Range is quite nice. And it's these last enemies. I should have brought Zayapil. But it's fine. It's fine. All right. Are we in the final room? There we go. So... She is an Espada, which means we're doing a lot of damage, so let's weaken them. Where are you? There we go. Let's SA2 it up. Are you weakened? Alright, we're going to probably be for a while then. We have to weaken her. Great. Oh, we weakened her straight away. Okay. Boost. And now let's go. Let's see how, let's see how much damage we do that. I'm, I'm expecting... If we hit a crit, maybe 300 plus K? 400 K even? 500! Oh, okay, okay! <laughs> <laughs> nice, that's all I want to see, okay. You know what, maybe I should have expected 500k, but I'm, imp I'm impressed, that, that was nice, that was nice. Alright, there we go, there's the damage showcase, just to have some fun. Now, this is going to be the struggle part, let's take Apache into Epic Raid and see how she does against the Grim Jow. Now, I'm confident we will be able to beat it, but we're going to have to see and, uh, we'll have to wait and see how that third phase is going to go, because we might die. Alright, so here we are in the epic raid part of the video. This is the build we are going with. Basically what we've been working for the most part in this video. So far, so good, right? It, it, it's been a good successful showcase so far. Let's see how she does against this epic raid boss. And I'm confident she's going to be doing able, she's going to be able to do massive damage numbers. And the main reason because we do have a T-set. We do have a max thing. So we do have a level 10 SP. She also has a spider killer. And you can see, look at that. Oh my god. Bro. Three strong attacks already in. And we're almost down to like 10%. Like... Or done 10% damage. That's insane. So if you compare it to Nemu and the Halley Bell, she's definitely going to be able to clear way faster because obviously that Spider Killer being 40% additional damage is just w better than a normal killer, right? All right. So now normally I say I'll skip to the second phase when we show the first attack pattern. We might not have to do that. Like yeah, that's the first phase done, and we're probably going to be here for like another 10 more seconds. Look at that. 4% more damage, and we're good. Oh my. <laughs> That's quite insane. That's quite insane. All right, so I, I really want to pull, bro. This video, like, it might be convincing you to pull for her. It's convincing myself to pull for her. This is this is insane. All right, so let's do that. And I can pretty much replicate this build too. Like, I do have a T set, the only T set in my account. So that's why I kind of want to go for it too. Now, if we do take damage, we can heal myself, so I don't have to worry about that. And but I'm kind of saving my strength, my special, for that third um, phase. Whether you can do as much damage as possible, because we need to try and clear them up really, really fast. Alright, so, so far so good. I'm going to bring this out here. There we go. There we go. Stay in the middle. I don't want to get hit here. There we go. Nice and easy. Alright, so now what we're going to do is skip to the third phase, which is probably only like 10 seconds away, honestly. Alright, so here we go. So, do that. Let's nuke. Let's just go quick. Alright, so I don't think we're going to be able to do it. Oh no! <laughs> close though, close though. I think I think I need to rock a last ditch link. Yeah, we're dead. Oh no! Nay! Nay! <laughs> Maybe we can survive? No, we're dead, right? All right, I might. I don't want. I can't be able to redo this again. I'm gonna be honest, lads. But you can see here, we definitely did more damage compared to Nemu and Halibo. But that's mainly because we have a better build and we have better accessories and stuff like that. You know, etc. etc. But yeah. I'm impressed, bro. Like, if, imagine six Apaches in one run. I haven't seen that yet because I haven't been really farming it. I don't have Apache myself. But you'll be able to clear very, very fast, man. So overall, let's talk about the character, right? Overall, I do think she's a character worth going for. By far, one of the best characters in the game, in my opinion. I'm very impressed with this character. It's Apache in a swimsuit, too. That's another reason to go for her. Who would have thought we'd have an Apache in a swimsuit, right? Not me. Not me. Not when I first started BBS. <laughs> but, like, visually, impressive. Gameplay-wise, impressive. I, I'm going to pull for her when she comes out in an individual banner in a couple of days' time, I believe. Uh, I'm only probably going to do the first or second step. I really don't want to go too ham, even though I kind of can't afford to go. I, I'm almost on 5k orbs. Uh, I haven't finished Senkamon yet. I know I can get the 5 codes, but when the anniversary comes out, so I don't know. I'm very tempted to pull. Maybe this video tempted you to pull. Uh, she, she's really good. Especially in Guild Quest, she's going to be a monster in there. And we haven't even tested her out there, right? Because unfortunately, we can't right now. Guild Quest, you know, the Sparta Week isn't here yet. So in five weeks' time, when everyone's showcasing if I don't have a, someone else is going to do it. It's going to be insane to watch, right? That being said, though, hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, smash the like button, scratch all that good stuff. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this Apache. And uh, yeah, massive shout out to Yato for lending their account. And I'll see you at the next one.
Peace.